Laser and Pulse Light Epilation, Chapter 1, Introduction. Photoepilation for the purpose of permanent hair reduction was developed through years of research at many leading medical institutions. Long-term clinical studies were done to evaluate both pulse light and lasers for long-term results. The conclusion of these studies showed both lasers and pulse light to be substantially equivalent to each other in their ability to destroy unwanted hair follicles. Each modality had distinct advantages. Lasers can be very precise, which is perfect for eyebrow shaping and hairline contouring. Pulse light, on the other hand, could treat large areas faster than lasers. Long-term results showed an 80% reduction in active hair growth counts at six months and one year. Laser and Pulse Light Epilation, Chapter 2, Equipment Orientation. It is important to fully understand the control locations and features of your SVPL system before use. Key lock safety switch, pulse counter reset, system status, intensity selector, pulse frequency, laser status, pulse light handpiece jack, pulse light status, diode temperature readout, laser handpiece jack, pinpoint laser module, to prepare for use, insert either the laser or pulse light instrument into the correct jack on your driver unit. Insert safety key and turn right. The ideal settings for photo epilation are pulse frequency 3 and intensity on level 3. Reset pulse counter. Your laser or pulse light instrument is now live and extreme care must be used while handling this instrument. Laser and Pulse Light Epilation, Chapter 3, Treatment Procedure. Before administering treatment, determine your client's skin type by referring to the Fitzpatrick scale in your instruction material. Clients with very light hair growth, blonde, red, and gray, will require additional pigment in the form of carbon dye prior to application. Be sure to thoroughly clean all excess carbon dye from the surface of the skin before treatment. For laser epilation, scan the treatment area at a rate of one inch per second. Stubborn areas will require a slower rate, one half inch per second. Your SDPL unit will make a clicking sound during treatment, which is normal. Unlike pulse light treatments, the laser optics is never intended to come in contact with the client's skin. And always use eye protection for both the client and the operator during the treatment process. For pulse light epilation, it is important that you first apply a cooling gel. This will protect the skin during treatment and also improve its translucency. Laser and Pulse Light Epilation, Chapter 4, Post-Treatment. It is normal for the skin in the treatment area to experience some degree of vasodilation. This is considered a sign of success as the skin is reacting to the trauma inside the follicle pore. The use of a topical lidocaine or aloe gel is recommended. Regrowth after treatment is normal. Most of this activity will be coming from follicles which were dormant at the time of the original treatment. Follicles can only be destroyed in the early antigen phase, which comes about once every 90 days. Most clients can expect an 80 to 90% reduction in hair growth activity after eight to 10 treatments. Most of the hair growth that returns 
be fine, weak, and lacking substantial pigment. Chapter 5 Equipment Maintenance If you're going to be using this unit on 230 volts, you will need a transformer. Be sure your transformer is rated at at least 750 watts. Your SPL handpiece produces massive amounts of energy. For that reason, additional cooling may be required from time to time. The use of a tetrafluoroethane spray is recommended. This spray is commonly available at most office supply stores. It is also known as a non-flammable cleaning duster spray. To prevent lamp failure, never allow your handpiece to exceed 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Please refer to the following demonstration to change your lamp. It is essential that you first wash your hands thoroughly as oils on your fingers can cause premature failure of your lamp. Laser Impulse Light Epilation, Chapter 6, Questions and Answers. Photo epilation can be uncomfortable on sensitive areas. Use of a topical lidocaine spray or ice pack is recommended. The site-specific trauma achieved by photo epilation is a progressively permanent procedure. Photo epilation is a non-invasive procedure for which an electrology license is not required. Follicles require a minimum of 32 joules per centimeter squared per second for effective treatment. Should your unit ever require service, just visit our website today and click on technical support for assistance. Your SDPL unit is capable of performing wrinkle and scar reduction, pigmentation problems, skin rejuvenation, and tattoo removal on most inks. The instructions sent with your system are intended as an entry-level information source. For more advanced information, please refer to the textbook Lasers and Lights by David Goldberg.